Hi, my name is Jen Lee of RedThreadStudio.com and I'm here at Quilt Week with a tip for you on how to manage your thread. We're going to do a thread management of Sashko thread, which is Japanese embroidery, but it would work for any large skeins of thread. Have you ever found yourself with a real hot mess of thread and real frustrated when you're trying to stitch? Well, with this simple tip, you can manage your thread and spend more time stitching than untangling your hot mess. First you take your skein of thread, and again this is Sashika thread, you slide off your sleeve and you find the place in the thread where it has doubled up on itself and you grab there and find the loop of thread like so. You take it where it's been doubled up on itself and flip it upside down, holding up at the top just like so, and you're going to cut the loop of thread where it was doubled up on itself. Voila. Now comes the part where we get to tame this thread. You're going to take about four to five inches. Off one side you'll get two pieces, just like so, and cut them off. And you'll take one of those and save the other for later. And then you're going to need a volunteer, someone in your house, and here I have my friend Margie, Margie Merle, who will be my Vanna for today. Have your assistant hold the thread like this and you're going to just tie a little loop up at the top in the center. Tight but not too tight. And if you don't have a lovely assistant at home, you can always use the pressure foot of your sewing machine to hold it down while you tie it. Margie, if you'll grab that there. Then you're going to Divide your thread in roughly three equal sections and then you're going to braid it or plate it. And you want your braid to be tight but not too tight. And you're going to work it down the whole length of your skein, leaving maybe one, two inches when you get to the end. just like so. When you reach the end, you'll take that other piece that you had saved and set aside, and then we're going to just gently tie it off just to keep those threads neatly together. Again, you want to make a little loop and a knot, but not too tight. Now your threads are successfully tamed, and when you're ready to start your project, you grab from the top and you're ready to stitch. It was great seeing you. Hope this tip was helpful and see you at the next Quilt Week.